well, pregnancy test positive, raised beta HCG level. What we are seeing is that this is the liver, this is the magnified view of the uh, liver and the kidney. And we you will see fluid, thin layer of fluid in the, between the uh, liver and the outer capsule of the liver that traverses anteriorly. Now this is the fluid. And this fluid is this, this is the fluid called, we call it as a fluid in the uh, hepatorenal angle or the Morrison's pouch. This is fluid where I am moving the cursor. This is, this is thin layer of a small amount of, very small amount of fluid, this one. And the cause, well, yes, we have to see the cause. A minute. Magnified. Here yeah, you see the uterus. A bit of absorbing ago. This is the uterus of the patient. And the longitudinal section of the uterus. Here is the endometrial canal, this one, urinary bladder, longitudinal section, cervix. And when I give a transfer sweep to the probe, to get the transfer section of the uterus, this is the transfer section of the uterus. I see a thick echogenic area, this one, at the region where the left ovary is seen. So anyway, this is the right ovary. This one is the right ovary. Small amount of fluid you can see over here in the pelvic cavity. And here, <coughs> now this is the region of the left adnexa. This is the left adnexa. Why left adnexa? You can see the left iliac vessels. These are the left iliac vessels, and this is the And you see there is a small sac or cystic area. Keep an eye on this structure. This is the cystic area. I'm going to give a sweep to the probe. Keep an eye at this region. And you will see if it changes its shape or retains its shape. See, it does not change its shape, it retains its shape. It has a thin capsule around it. There is a thin capsule around and it measures approximately 12.3, rather 11.1 uh, mm. And this is the, uh, with the positive pregnancy test, with the uh, Raised beta HCG levels, this is a deformed sac, extra uterine deformed sac, uh, which is so far concealed by the bleed around. This is not a fresh bleed. But this is a plea. 
this is blade or, or say this is the left tube or a, a fallopian tube and here is the sac deformed measuring approximately 11 millimeter and see the configuration of the uterus it appears as uh, now the congestion of the uh, uterus is confirmed by uh, the right vessels seen now this vascularity is suggestive of congestion of the pelvic organs para pelvic region sorry para uterine region vessels with this being the uterus so pelvic congestion is there and here is the main area of insert no fetal via fetal pole no yolk sac nothing is seen and this is our case of the day which is is a case of ruptured ectopic pregnancy and uh, which is uh, confirmed by uh, positive pregnancy test. This is supposedly a bleed uh, that is conceiving uh, this uh, the uh, flow of fluid because we do, did saw the fluid in the uh, hepatorenal angle and the Morrison's power so the fluid is traversing a, uh, upwards and there is leakage there is some leakage